So inside Final Cut, we have two shots here. And in using light drops, it's very easy. We're just gonna overlay light drops over our two shots. In this case, I'm just gonna use a transition inside transition punch. I think these exposure blurs work pretty nice. Now you don't have to put a transition in between the two, but I think it kind of uh, fits nice. So I have this transition between my two shots. Now I'm gonna import my light drops. And you can see these are all different light pattern overlays, relatively short so that you can place between a couple shots. And they just add a nice elegant look. So I'm gonna import one of my light drops and then drag and drop it above my two shots. And I'm just gonna clip the ends here. And now this is 8K, but uh, this is gonna to fit to my uh, timeline. So I'm just gonna scale this out a little bit. And you can see as I play, there's this nice light pattern that goes across. And all we have to do now is change the blending mode. So if I go to blending mode, and in this case, I'm gonna change it to add, And now you can see it has a nice overlay between my two shots. And if I just grab a cross dissolve and put it on the edges, I will just kind of clean everything up. And there you go. So again, you could delete the transition. Uh, you're going to have different light patterns, some of which are going to overexpose. So you can just experiment, see what works for you.